So my name is Ian Thomas. Uh, I work for the Gwent Wildlife Trust on the Wild Health Project. So it's been up and running now through various funding streams for about four years. I do a mixture of uh, recreational sessions with learning deficit groups, uh, groups that may be struggling with uh, mental health issues um, and also practical conservation out on site as well on our reserves and in other green spaces. This GP referral scheme, the pilot scheme, what we've been looking at so far is we've done some uh, plant and tree ID. So we've looked at traditional usages of plants, uh, medicinal properties, uh, different species and how they, they create habitat for lots of different you know, species of birds, insects, animals, that sort of stuff. We've done some sensory bingo, which is very much along the lines of the five ways to well-being. So we looked at what we could see, what we could hear, what we could touch, what we could feel and what we could see. Um, we've done some permanent geocaching, so around, around the park here, I've got a permanent geocaching loop, which is essentially uh, digital treasure hunting. So it's a free well-being activity through learning and getting active for any member of the public that wants to download the app. And today we've been looking at some natural navigation. So we've been looking at mosses, uh, some ivy, some trees, some lichen, uh, and using the sun and the stars to try and find uh, cardinal points. It's a nature walk, basically. I uh, absolutely enjoyed it. It's just nice to get outside in the fresh air. Uh, I'd encourage anyone to do it, to be honest with you, because it's all free and uh, beautiful scenery. It's nice to look at the trees and the flowers and Ian as well, he's a wealth of knowledge. I'm coming from a different angle because I'm a support worker, stroke community connector, so I've brought somebody here and the gentleman um, likes to get out and about but didn't know that things like this existed. So we've, we've attended, this is our third session and we've learned different things, we've done the geocaching, We've done sensory bingo, which all the group has enjoyed, and we're learning all the time, but it's beneficial to our well-being as well as a support worker, so it's double whammy for us because it works for them and it's working for us too. And they've proven now that being in the natural environment is good for well-being, okay, makes you feel better, de-stresses you, uh, but we have worked along the five ways of well-being quite a lot. So we've looked at the guys coming in, never knew each other before, they've connected, so it's addressing social isol isolation. Um, they're giving something, so next week we've got some practical conservation, so we're going to be promoting pollination by um, scattering some wildflower seed. Uh, they've got a little bit healthier, so they're more active, all, all the set sessions are dynamic, so we're walking throughout, we're not, on, you know, we're not in one spot, we're constantly on the go. Uh, they're learning, so they've learned a vast amount, so I mean, I, I, I've given them so much information, they're not going to retain all that information, but for sure they're going to take one or two things away from from the sessions every week, which gets them closer to the natural environment. Taking notice as well, that's the fifth, fifth way uh, of five ways to well-being that, that, that we've looked at. And it's really about stopping and looking at what's around you. Uh, and how, you know, it's one big ecosystem, how, how things help each other along through symbiotic relationships and that sort of stuff. Looking at the way plants react to sunlight, to moisture, uh, the way wildflowers open, different seasons, uh, and the old connection of nature all in one, you know, one big, uh, one, one big connector. My name's Connor Green, we're in Brimbach Park. We're just going around with uh, Ian over there, learning about the nature of the farm, yeah. Well, it's, it's things like, um, if I just look at a random bunch of plants, I just normally think about, oh, they're just weeds, they are. But after all these sessions with Ian, I'm now looking at them, seeing all these different individual plants, and I'm stopping to look at them. Currently, we've got, uh, this is a pilot scheme, so a large percentage of the participants have come through and been directly referred through GPs, community connectors, uh, and the PWPs, so the Psychological uh, Wellbeing Practitioners. Moving forward, I'd like to see this stuff sort of mainstream. Uh, I mean, the GPs at the moment probably haven't got the time to listen to people's sort of non-clinical problems, if you like. This is where some of these social uh, prescribers will come in. They'll have the time to discuss non-medical, non-clinical issues with some of these guys uh, and maybe they'll come to the realisation that perhaps, you know, complementing some of the, you know, medication they may be on, getting into the natural environment is a really beneficial thing for well-being moving forward. A little message to uh, any, anybody out there that's going to refer really to uh, any GPs, any uh, psychological well-being practitioners, community connectors, really get behind this. I've seen a massive difference in these guys in just four weeks 
uh, how they've embraced the natural environment. Uh, you know, I'm even inviting you guys to come along for a taster session, get a feel of it, which will really, really enable you to sell it. Uh, come and experience it first, so it's coming from the horse's mouth. Um, yeah, please refer, please keep this rolling forward.